Today we're going to be doing our open response part of our Unit 7 test. And on this, uh, the next two slides, you will see this question. I am going to show it to you. I'm using the overhead projector, so you will kind of see a little light there. So try to ignore it and just listen to me because I felt like it would be easier for me to explain it this way. Um, this, I feel like this is the best way for me to explain it to you. So the first thing, when we come to a question, an open response question, we have to see, um, read it, and find out what information do we know and what information are they asking for. So first of all, let's read it. It says, Kate ate a fourth of a pie. Michael ate a fourth of another pie. Kate said that she ate more pie than Michael, but Michael said they both ate the same amount. Use words and pictures to show that Kate could be right. So for this first part, we're going to try to prove that Kate is right. So Kate, what did Kate say? Kate, well, first of all, Kate ate a fourth of a pie. Michael ate a fourth of another pie. We know this. Kate said that she ate more pie than Michael. She ate more than Michael. Huh. So we're supposed to use words and pictures to prove that Kate is right. Huh. So we got to think about this. First of all, we got to think we got to use words and pictures. So she ate a fourth and he ate a fourth. But Kate says that she ate more. How could that be true? Think about it in your mind. How could that be true? Well, let's say that here is a pie. And let's say here is a pie. Okay, we're going to cut them into fourths because it says one fourth, right? Kate said that she ate more. So if this is Kate's pie and Kate's pie is bigger and this is Michael's pie and his pie is smaller, and Michael ate one fourth, and Kate ate one fourth. Huh. Who ate more? Kate did. So that proved that that could be why Kate said that. Kate said that because her piece was bigger than Michael's. So we will put Kate ate more because her pie is bigger. So there we did. We is we we drew a picture, but we also wrote words to explain why Kate is correct. Now, the next part of this question is at the bottom here. So I'm going to move this up, 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 up. Again, it's the same amount. And I'm just going to check right here on my screen to make sure that you can still see it there. Okay. What it says here is use words and pictures to show that Michael could be right. So now we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to show Michael said that they ate the same amount. So we're going to prove with pictures and with words that Michael is telling the truth or Michael is right. So we're going this time, we're going to make our pies 
the same amount as much as you can, you know, pretty much. And we're going to cut it in fourths because they each ate one fourth. So we have to cut it into four pieces. And Michael ate the one fourth and Kate ate one fourth. So this is Michael and this is Kate. And we are saying here that they they both ate the same amount and what was different about this picture than the other one both pies are the same size on that other one on the other screen the the pies were different sizes and so that's why that's why Kate said that she ate more but on this one Michael said they ate the same amount so this proves so what they want us to do is draw a picture with words to prove that what Michael said is right so now I would like you to go ahead and go to um, if you haven't been following me, if you don't have a paper copy, then go to the next two slides on your math slides and do them. Because I showed you how to do them, now you need to go and do it on the slides. Or do it on paper and you could also take a copy, uh, take a picture and send it to your teacher. So that is another way to do it.